Logitech is holding a press conference on the 19th of March 2024 and they will announce Mevo Core which is an interchangeable lens camera which is more like a webcam but I think it's for creators who want to stream stuff and the interesting thing about this camera is that first of all it has an interchangeable lens mount and secondly the mount is a micro four third mount so the camera supports 4k at 30 frames per second and I think the chip and the sensor are actually capable of 4K at 60 frames per second. The camera has built-in microphones on top of the camera, and it also has a 3.5 millimeter TRS microphone port. And you can also use the USB-C port on the back of the camera to plug in a microphone. The camera has two tally lights so that you know when you're live. So I think that's the main target audience of this camera for streamers. And it has a power button on the back and the power button has four LEDs on it, which will display the battery status. And you can turn it on by holding it down for three seconds. And if you want to use the wired option, so this is a wireless camera, so you can actually stream everything wirelessly. But if you want to use a wired connection to your computer, you can double press the power button and the camera will make a noise so that you know that you are in a wired mode. The camera has four quarter inch 20 mounts. So on each side of the camera, you have those. And one of them has two RE locating holes. I think that's on the side of the camera, depending on which side you're looking at, because it's a box camera and you can turn it to use it vertically or on the side as well. And the one on the bottom of the camera actually has a quarter inch 20 thread with a single locating hole. So very similar to camcorders. And on the back, there's two USB-C ports, uh, and one of them is for charging. And also, you can use it to input audio via microphone or Ethernet as well. And yeah, I think you have to buy a separate adapter for that. And then the second USB-C port is for actually outputting 4K at 30 frames per second. The output is 4K at 30 frames per second, but I wonder maybe they actually allow you to record onto the micro SD card at 4K 60 frames per second. The camera has a full size HDMI port for video output and it has a micro SD card slot for recording video. So that's actually a nice feature because if you're recording wirelessly and your stream glitches because of the bad wireless connection, then at least you have the full video recorded on the micro SD card. And it has a 6,400 milliamp replaceable battery. And the battery is slightly weird the way its connections look, but you can, actually replace it, which is a good thing. It's not very accessible, so you have to kind of open the back and replace it, as opposed to camcorders where you just kind of pull it out and put in a new battery. And in terms of the processing unit and the sensor and the components used in that, they're very similar to what's actually being used on drones. And this is pretty much a box camera and it's tolerant to high temperatures, which is also good. So you can stream for extended periods of time. And it has a all wireless connectivity, even Bluetooth. And in order to power the system, it takes five to nine volts at two amps, which is effectively what USB can provide quite easily. And it's compatible with the Mevo Multicam app. And based on the information I have, they've done a lot of testing on both the wireless communication of this camera to make sure it's reliable and also on the microphones. So you should be able to have both stereo microphones, but also the software, I assume, will give you the option to choose how you want the pickup pattern to be. So on the back, you have the HDMI output, the full size HDMI output, and then you have the micro SD card slot and also a reset hole. So there's a small button like computers that you can reset the camera. And then there are two USB ports and the 3.5 millimeters TRS. And on top, at the back of the camera, you have the power button. The camera also has an indicator for where the focal plane is for the sensor itself. And I think some people mentioned that, uh, is this a vertical camera? Because the orientation of the lens mount in relation to the logo of Logitech. But I think they haven't specifically declared it as a vertical or landscape type of camera. I think it's a box camera, so you can turn it around quite easily. But I do think that the main target audience for this camera is the vertical shooters for video streaming and creators. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to provide more details about this camera.